Flowwise chatbots are extremely powerful and whether you're a complete beginner or more advanced when it comes to building out Flowwise agents, nobody can deny that there's a huge opportunity in deploying these Flowwise agents into social media platforms such as Instagram DMs, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp and more. Integrating your Flowwise projects into these platforms makes it easier for your end user to use the chatbot and you can build a ton of cool applications for sales systems or customer support on a variety of different platforms where your main target audience is active. My name is Emil and I'm the co-founder of OmniFusion AI and we have built over 50 chatbots for clients. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can easily integrate your Flowwise project into Instagram DMs, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and more by using ManyChat. So by the end of this video, you will have everything you need in order to make this happen, along with all the templates that we're gonna be using totally for free in our school community at school.com slash Omnifusion. Before we jump into it, if you find value in this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future. So what you see on screen right here is the project which I built out in my latest Flowwise video, where we went over an entire chatbot with a CRM integration. So this chatbot had the ability to save information from a user, put it into a CRM, and you also have the ability to trigger emails and do all kinds of other automations from that trigger. So that was a really advanced Flowwise project. And if you want to check it out, watch the video. I'm going to put it somewhere on the screen right here. Anyways, in this video, we're going to be taking this agent and we're going to integrate it into Instagram DMs. The first thing you need to do is navigate over here to the integration options. Here we have a ton of different things, such as being able to embed the chatbot on a website. You can do all of these different things right here, or you can just share the chatbot. What we are going to do is we're going to use the curl, which is going to allow us to integrate this via API. So basically you have the URL right here, which is the URL that you need to send your request to with the question, which is going to be the message from the user along with the content type application, JSON. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to set that up. And then you're going to be able to send that request and get a response back. Now you also have a ton of other options here where you can um, clarify the session ID, all of that stuff, but that's nothing you need to worry about because in the template that I'm gonna be sharing, that's all gonna be done for you. In order to integrate our Flowwise project with Instagram DMs, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and so on, we are gonna be using ManyChat, which is an official integration into Meta's API, which is gonna allow you to integrate this into Instagram, Facebook, etc., without risking your account in any way, shape, or form because it's official Instagram API. The limitation here, however, is that many chat often times out requests. So when you send a, an API request from many chat to Flowwise to this curl URL, you are often going to have a timeout and retrieving the latest message is very complicated and it's going to be a big pain for you guys. So in order to counteract this, we are going to be using voiceflow.com, uh, which we're going to use as sort of an in-between bridge. Now, if you don't already have Voiceflow, you can either sign up and just pick the cheapest plan. The cheapest plan is going to work for you. Or you can just go with Flowwise to ManyChat directly and just risk it. But in my opinion, that's not a production ready system unless you build out a really complex way to retrieve the latest message in case the Flowwise request does time out. But that's where Voiceflow comes into play and we have all the templates for that as well. Once you sign up to Voiceflow, all you need to do in the inside of the dashboard is go up here and click on import.vf file. If you go to our school community at school.com slash Omnifusion, click on the classroom in the school community, you will be able to find this exact video there um, and you will be able to download the Flowwise template YT, which you will simply take, you will import the file right here and once that is done, you will see this page. All you're gonna do is click on start right here and that is gonna open up the template that you need to work with. As you can see, it's not complicated at all to set this up. So once you've loaded in this template, all you're gonna do is go back to Flowwise. You're gonna take the URL, the curl URL right here. You're gonna copy that, simply copy it, go back into VoiceFlow, and then go into these two cards. You're just gonna paste the URL here. The entire request here is already set up for you. There's nothing you need to change. We also set the session ID to the user ID. We also even have the option to pass additional variables such as the IG username and the name, which I'm actually gonna delete in this case since we don't need it. I'm just gonna remove that. Um, and then we simply have the same node 
right here as a backup, which we're going to do in case the first request fails. We're just going to try sending it again um, instead of not getting a reply at all. And we have the same thing down here where we're simply going to set that up and get the response back and it's going to output the response. So if I just go ahead and test this real quick, I'm just going to click run here, test this real quick with the URL that we just set up and I'm going to say hi. It's going to send the request to Flowwise. You can see, hey, it's been successfully triggered and the response came back. Hey there, I'm Mike. What's your name and what are you currently struggling with in your business? And if I go back to uh, Flowwise and I do the same thing here and I just say hi, it's probably going to say something very similar because this is the project that we have just integrated from Flowwise into VoiceFlow. Now, when it comes to integrating VoiceFlow with ManyChat, Super easy. I've done a ton of videos with it and I'm going to show you right now how to get it done. So if you go to school.com slash Omnifusion, again, it's free to join. All you need to do is go and click on the classroom. And if we go here to the Omnifusion resource hub and we scroll down a little bit, as you can see, we have a ton of videos. We have the full template right here, connect voice flow with Instagram DMs and Facebook Messenger. We're going to take this. And all we're going to do right here is we're going to take the ManyChat template, which we can find the link right here. And we're going to import it into our ManyChat. Now, if you haven't signed up to ManyChat yet, simply do that by clicking on get started. There's a free 14 day trial for that. I believe uh, VoiceFlow also has a, a free trial. Um, but once you've uh, signed up for ManyChat and you're signed in, simply go into school, click on this link, which is going to open up this right here. And this is going to be the integration that we are going to be using in order to connect voice flow with Instagram DMs and be able to send the messages from our Flowwise agent inside of Instagram. All you need to do is click on save to many chats. Then need to select the account that you've just set up. You need to click on save flow and it's going to save that flow inside of many chats. You then simply click on view flow and it's going to open it up right here. You can see voice flow Instagram integration template. So now to integrate voice flow into this super easy, we're going to go back to voice flow. First things first, we're going to click on publish, make sure that you publish the project. If you don't publish the voice flow project, this is not going to work. You're going to publish the project. You're going to click on back. You're then going to go to integration in the left hand corner. And right here you have your API key. You're going to click on copy API key. You're going to go back over here into many chat and now you're simply going to go through a couple of cards. So right here where it says your API key here, we're going to paste in your API key and for version ID here, since you've already published it, it's going to be production. So you're simply going to type production right here. No further action required from your side. You simply type in production, you click save and you go through this card, this card, and this card right here. In order to set this card up right here, it's a Google app script where you also can find the explanation right here in the school community. You're going to need to set up a code for text converter, which is going to have the simple Google app script code right here. It takes about five minutes. You're going to put the URL here. Basically what this allows you to do is when somebody sends a message with paragraphs or with some weird formatting inside of the Instagram DMs, this app script is going to reformat it for you so that there's no line breaks, which can break the code inside of voice flow when we send it to voice flow or when we send it to Flowwise. All right. So once you've replaced the API key and written production in every single one of these, this one, this one, this one, and this one, you are pretty much good to go and you will be able to actually use this template. We just have one more thing. First things first, we're going to click update right here. Right now we have a trigger set up, which says Emil test. So if I go ahead and go on Instagram and I DM this account, Emil test, it is going to trigger a reply. However, in most cases we might want it to send a message every single time we message the account, we want to get a message back. So in order to set that up, we're simply going to go over to settings. We're going to select Instagram and from here, we're going to select the default reply where we're going to pick the reply that we just imported. You're going to select the folder that you just imported it from and you're going to select the template right here. You're going to click pick this automation. You're going to click on the automation and now a key thing, which is probably not going to be set up correctly for you is when you click here on the default reply trigger, you need to select every time by default, it's going to be set to once per 24 hours. You want it to be set to every single time. This trigger right here with the Emil test keyword, we can go ahead and simply delete. So I'm now going to go ahead and test this integration, which we've just set up. I haven't tested it yet. So you're going to do it for the first time live with me. So I'm just going to go ahead and say, Hey, and we're going to give it a couple seconds. 
Hey there, what's your name? What are you currently struggling with in your business? My name is Emil, struggling with too much money. And as you can see, we're having a back and forth conversation. The AI from Flowwise is now inside of Instagram DMs and I can continue the conversation whatever way I want to continue it. If you guys would wanna change this from Instagram to let's say Facebook or WhatsApp, it's as easy as going to the settings, picking the integration that you wanna use. Telegram is also an option, email, SMS, all of these options, you would simply click on the integration, for example, WhatsApp, and here you would have to connect your WhatsApp. What you can then do is go back to the template and here where you have the send message Instagram, you could simply go to the drop down and you could select send message messenger or WhatsApp will also show if you have the WhatsApp integration set up. And the same thing applies for the trigger, which is the default reply in this case, where you would simply go to the settings, pick the specific integration that you want to do. And then for Facebook, for example, same thing applies default reply, you would select an existing flow, pick the flow from here, and then the default reply flow will be set up for Facebook Messenger in the exact same way that it's set up for Instagram right now. So that is how you integrate flow wise with Instagram DMs, Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and more by using voice flow as the middleman in order to avoid timeouts so that we have a smooth integration right here. If you guys enjoyed this video, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And please do let me know in the comments down below what kind of flow wise content you would like me to make. I have a ton of ideas, but any inputs are always appreciated.